She asked, well, have you ever been baptized? And I was like, oh. And I looked at the pool, and I looked at the vista, and I looked at this woman, and I was like, I got it, God. You want me to get baptized, and you brought me here because this is the woman and the place that you want me to give my life over to Jesus fully. My friend, my contact from LinkedIn, Credence, he had been telling me about this woman and her community for a while. Ultimately, I didn't think much of it. He wanted me to just go and interview her and potentially make a video for social media about her business and the community that she's building there. And it was so funny because right away when we pulled up to the gate, it was locked. There was like this long driveway. We had to call her. She had to send her son down to get us. And while I was waiting there, I just felt sick. It was just this weird like heaviness. I don't know why but I just felt like, yeah, just kind of like a density. I was like, I don't feel good, okay, whatever. I'm just like traveling and it's probably nothing, you know? And so they open the gate. We, we ride our bike and ATV up to the house and right away when I started riding up the hill and seeing the property and everything she was building there, there's like a, a guest center and all these like guest houses and it was beautiful. I was like, wow. Uh, but I still didn't think much. I just thought I was going to meet this woman for her business and um, we pulled around the back of the house. You walk in, this massive beautiful garden right in the entryway of this house. I mean, it was amazing. And I right away was just kind of like, wow. This place is cool. And he told me it would be cool, but really special. So I'm just walking into this house and it feels as if it's like I've been here before. I don't know, it was just a very strange feeling. And I was just called to keep walking. I was just like invited in, I kept walking, walking, and in the front is this big living room. And I walk into the living room, I look to my left, I see this big cross painting on the wall. And I'm like, all right. And then I see these double doors in inviting me right out to the patio. And I walk outside to this incredible forest view with an infinity pool just overlooking the scene. And it's just this incredible vista. And I'm like, what? is this place. Wow, I definitely felt a lot of energy. And I looked to my left and there's this woman with gray hair sitting in a rocking chair with her knee propped up. And I'm like, this is the woman that you wanted me to meet? Like, this is not what I was expecting at all. Like the vibe was so interesting. And then right away, she was like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't walk. Like I hurt my knee. And then right away, I could hear God's voice being like, sit down next to this woman and pray over her knee. And I'm like thinking to myself like, what, this is so weird. Like I just met this woman. I like, I do pray a lot, but like not with strangers. And this is just, it felt awkward, right? But I could tell that God was like, just pray over her knee. Like he just wanted me to. So I was like, okay. So I just like kneeled down and immediately started doing some like theta, you know, brain waves on this woman's knee and like praying to myself in my head. And she received it. She was cool. Like instantly we just had a spiritual connection and I knew she was a Christian. So that helped, but I definitely felt this like really, intense presence there. And when I was done praying, she asked me if I was a Christian and I told her, well, yes, but like I'm new and I really just started learning the story of Jesus this year. And she asked, well, have you ever been baptized? And I was like, oh, and I looked at the pool and I looked at the vista and I looked at this woman who I felt like I've known my whole life and we literally barely exchanged a few words. And I was like, I got it, God you want me to get baptized and you brought me here because this is the woman and the place so beautiful that you want me to give my life over to Jesus fully. And I realized what was happening. I sat down on the rocking chair next to this woman and I just started to process everything. She started to tell me about her journey and you know, we exchanged a few more words and she was asking me what I needed to let go of. And it was like real and I started crying and I just felt this like intense, like, wow, like, Thank you, God, for this beautiful, just supernatural life that like, I thought I was coming here for business and I, I came and it's like, oh, I'm getting baptized. Like I wasn't expecting to get baptized. I did eventually want to do it, but like no plans. And then it was really funny because my contact Credence was in the house and he missed like the whole conversation and he comes outside like babbling, like, all right, so you're going to do a video on Bianca's business and we're going to like da, 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 da. And like, he saw our faces and was like, what's going on? And I was like, I'm not here to do a video. I'm here to get baptized. And he was like, really? I was like, yes. So I did it. It was incredible.
incredible. I have so many things I could share about it, but it's like very personal and I'm actually getting better at not sharing every single little personal detail of my life. So I do have it on, on video a little bit here, but I haven't played the whole thing. I'll say this, I felt like a weight was lifted off of me after that baptism, but I didn't really feel different. Like I didn't really feel like so much has changed, but then since coming back from Nicaragua, like my life has definitely altered for the better. And I have more updates I'm gonna share with you guys as I go, but ultimately I just wanted to share that. Like God brought me to Nicaragua, random place that I wasn't expecting to go, thanks to my LinkedIn contact. And he brought me there for whatever reason to be baptized on this beautiful land and thank you Bianca for being that vessel and that guide for me. I will link her information and the community she's building in the description below and I definitely plan to go back to this land and to Nicaragua. So that's my story. I hope that you guys enjoyed. It was so beautiful and I'm so grateful that God gave me this like incredibly beautiful like couldn't have picked it better myself for like my own baptism. Like it was gorgeous. And I just walked right into it. It's really cool when you can hear God's voice like so clearly and there's no denying. And it was a really special moment that I shared there. So 